welcome. This is the Cut to the Chase podcast show. I'm your host, the Boo Knife, with my co host, Jay Kim. We give you that real chop, you understand that? We discuss sports, entertainment, current events, food, and just common sense. Tune in and subscribe. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, July 11th. 2024. JKL's not in the studio today, so we're just doing the audio, radio broadcast, podcast, whatever. In the cuts, J Poe's coming soon. He's getting his stuff ready. We'll probably air that in a little while, but today is just me, and we're going to talk about lineage, generations, legacy, things like, like that, of that nature. Anyway, let me change the music up on y'all. So anyway, I got up this morning thinking about my my life growing up, right? And, you know, I was lucky. I had two great-grandmas, a great-grandpa. My grandfather, he, he passed away early. But I had my dad, my mom, you know what I'm saying? Wholesome, wholesome life, right? So anyway, but I was going to go see my great-grandma. I remember this distinctively, right? I remember the very day she was sipping on some Hennessy and she said, good grandson, turn the TV up. You know, back in the day, we didn't have remote controls, so I had to turn it up. And she said, I want you to watch this. And it was wrestling, right? <laughs> like, what is this? And I was enchanted by it, you feel me? And so I ended up going home, you know, and I'm the oldest, got little brothers. And, Cousins that stayed with us because that's what we did back then. And I put it in their life. You feel me? I turned them on to it, to wrestling. All right, so we're going to fast forward it. You know, and real quick message, touch on that a little bit. When you have great grandparents and grandmas, your life is just amazing. You know what I'm saying? Because they gonna cook the best for you. They got experience at it. So, you know, my taste buds, my palate is, you know, top shelf. So anyway, fast forward, right? You know, my young life, it was censored, sanitized by my parents and grandparents. So, you know, a lot of things that I digested mentally, visually, you know, it had a wholesome background. So when I dipped off and did a little bit of this, and that, whatever, that was a fraction of my perception of life. Most of my life was wholesome, right? So as I grew up, I remember looking at my great grandpa, Whitland Wood. His name was Hiawatha. I called him Papa. Native guy, right? And he went up with a bowie knife and he would talk to me about things. And so I naturally had this attraction to knives and wrestling and things like that, right? So anyway, I'm getting older, right? And, and my dad, he had told me, son, you know, your mom, they get along, so go ahead and go to the Marines. And I'm like, pops, you know, I'm out here in Berkeley, I don't really believe in all that military and all that, whatever, whatever. He was like, I did it. If I did it, you can do it. And that's all he needed to say. Right? <laughs> so, 17, graduated. I went to the Marines, okay. So all this is coming to a point, right? So now, I'm older, and I'm looking at my pops, right? And I'm trying to do a lot of the stuff he did. I wanted to make him proud. They put me in camp, my mama. She put me in music camp, summer camp. He put me in different things, played a lot of music, so I had the same interest. And I desire to make him happy. So let's fast forward to semi-recent. I'm back to watch wrestling again, something they turned me on to earlier in life. I'm seeing the kids of the wrestlers that I grew up watching with my great-grandparents. They wrestling now, you feel me? I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, that's whose son? That's whose daughter? What, I, I, you know? I'm going to run over a little bit today. Usually I stop, but Don't even let me turn on some more music. Take a break. Okay, I got my coffee. Anyway, so I'm just trying to give you something to ride to this morning, you know what I mean? Listen to. 
Anyway. So I'm looking at the, the kids of the wrestlers that I grew up watching and admiring, right? And I'm looking at the Rock's daughter coming up now, Ric Flair's daughter, Dusty Rhodes' kids. You know? And I'm like, what? And you know, and I'm, I'm doing a little social media thing, like we all do. We dip into that crazy place for a minute. And uh, there's people actually talking crazy about wrestlers, kids coming up and like, oh man, how many kids he got coming up, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, man, look, man. <laughs> when you come up from a wholesome background, a strong family structure, even if it's not perfect, right? You have pride in doing what your parents did or your grandparents did. In my case, my great grandparents, right? I, I'm multiple levels, right? You know, with that being said, I remember growing up and I went to church with my great grandparents, my grandparents, my mom and dad, and now I take my daughter to church. And I can see the pride and leaving a legacy that's positive. You know what I mean? That's, that, that's wholesome. You still have the options of having wholesomeness, wholesome entertainment, wholesome companionship, wholesome relationships. So anyway, go back to my subject. So people are tripping because lineages of wrestlers are coming up. And I'm like, how can you do that? But then again, if you don't have that structure, or if you don't have a lot of love in your life, or if you don't have a lot of pride, then I can see where that could be something foreign or alien to you. It's like somebody speaking Martian to you, right? But then, you know, I glance over, and I read an article about LeBron James' son being drafted by the Lakers. And it's the same banter. A lot of people are like, wow, that's crazy. I can't wait, personally. I can't wait to see, see this. Uh, that's must, must watch TV. But there's people actually upset because LeBron James' son got drafted to the Lakers. And I'm like, wow, man. Because, you know, as a Warrior fan, I know who the Berries are. Tim Hardaway Jr., Steph Curry, Seth Curry, Clay Thompson, Glenn Robinson. Gary Payton I know about lineage and so if you think about it and I think about my life right when you grow up and you have that structure that wholesome structure it's only natural for a lot of them to grow up on desire to do the same things their parents did right so embrace that man Embrace that because they come from a, a structure where they had money and time and invested their kids. And so that's a good investment for teams. And that's all the people we enjoy seeing it. So this is the Bowie Knife. Cut to the chase. Enjoy your morning. Be safe out there. And God bless. Get back to this coffee.